Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode seven of All the Mods 9, where we build us a nice starting source farm to get us going further into RS Nouveau. So let's see how it's done and jump into the episode. All right, guys, we're jumping right into this episode. Between episodes, I made a watering can, a uh, diamond level one. So, like, it's really fast. Does a three by three area. The reason why I made the diamond watering can is uh, I wanted to spread all the grass up here. I, I made a small little platform area for uh, mobs to spawn. And. Uh, yeah, that, that's one of the reasons why. Uh, I did process a little bit of uh, ores uh, between episodes. Uh, because I want to get into getting the uh, essences here. Uh, and to do that, we need to get some imbuement chambers done. Uh, to do which showed you guys how we make these last time. I want a total of six imbuement chambers, but I think this will make only four. Yeah. Which is fine. Four is more than enough for the, uh, starting imbuements that we need to do. Uh, we also need to start making stuff like this source stone here. Uh, in previous versions, it was known as, I uh, can't remember what it was called as, oh, there it was, uh, formerly known as Dark Caden Stone. There we go. Uh, I have Lapis still going through this. Whenever I open this up, I see lapis in there. Maybe take it out, put it in there. Work on processing it a little bit. Um, to get eight of these done. And that is because Eight is a perfect number for a stack of source stones. Okay, the reason why we need the source stone. Oh, we got a starbuncle totem. Hmm. Uh, hmm, starbuncle totem. Oh, two starbuncle totems. Ooh. Ooh, this, this is definitely good. Because I definitely want this uh, charm here. All right, so. Uh, I got distracted with the Starbucks charm. I mean... A good thing that it showed up. Uh, we need some of these arcane pedestals, which uses source gems. I think it wants us to make eight of these, so let's get eight more of these out. All right. Uh, it's going to require a good bit of uh, nuggies. And now we can shift click this. There we go. We got the eight of those done up, which gives us the arcane pedestal reward, which we got a wild and wing. That that's actually very good and very useful. I mean, we don't have to go hunting down a wild in right now. To make the one one step, 
but uh, yeah, we're we're sort of going along this this quest path here uh, because there there's certain things I want to get done, and as you guys saw in that previous chat conversation that me and uh, one of the fellow members on the server was having uh, Witten. Uh, yeah, there, there, there are certain stuff that we want to get done, or that I want to do with RS Nouveau. Anyway, uh, so we set this down, the imbument chamber, and we can set these right beside the imbument chamber. Uh, one of the first things we're going to need is different uh, trees here, like we'll need the blazing arc, arc wood and the flourishing one and the vexing one. So I have to get, uh, I'm going to say at least five of these guys, but let me show you how we're going to do it. First thing we're going to do is make a clock here. Okay, we need a clock for one of the spots, a button, and a redstone. So, And we'll set these, the stone button on one of the pedestals. We'll set the clock on that pedestal back there. And we'll set this redstone here. And that will make this imbuement chamber actually work. Uh, but to make it honestly work, we had to stick those in there. Now, if we had additional source uh, items, we could speed this up. And to do uh, additional sources, we need to start out with a source jar, which requires a couple pieces of glass and arc wood slabs. And we do have the wood here. Now let me just put away some of this stone that I have in my inventory. There we go. Uh, let's see here. One more. And we're going to need some glass here. Uh, now, one of the things that, you know, I just realized something. We need a way of making glass quickly. I have an idea for that. But that's that's a different that's for different uh, need to deal with. Uh, source jar. There we go. We want a source jar, which is uh, slabs. And there we go. We get the source jar. It says, not a fluid. That's the achievement. That's kind of a cool achievement. So uh, one of the easiest ways of getting this full is growing stuff near it. And for that, we need one of these uh, ergonomic source links. And gold source wheat. I know I have some wheat here because I grew some. Uh, okay, so we can make this ergonomic source link here. Okay, we can now set this down. We can set it on top of the source jar, but as long as it's relatively close. So now 
when these trees grow, it sends uh, that it grows to the ergonomic source link. And well, we get a very little bit of source here. And um, since we'll be growing trees a good bit, this is an okay way of making source. There is better ways of getting source made. And to show you that, oh, can't believe I broke that. Um, As I was saying, there's better ways of getting source uh, automated. And one of them would be a nice little farm area. Uh, I think also an item called source berries, which we got last episode. I'm trying to find it here. Here we go. Source berries. Uh, I don't remember if it requires tilled, tilled land or regular. Okay, regular. And uh, we can twerk it. We can get more source berries. But as you can see here, uh, do, 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 do. I'm trying to remember. I know there's a way to. Restore mana with it. But I think there is a way of... Hmm. I thought there was a way to put these into the source jars. I have to remember, but growing these is super fast. And, well, very useful. I do remember something. Give me a moment to try to remember exactly how to use these, and I will be right back. And after about 10 minutes of reading the wiki, uh, what we need is a mycelial source link, which requires mushroom stew. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Can we make this over in the... over here. So let's see here. Uh, brown mushrooms. Wait. Do we have mycelium seeds? Because I could actually set up the initial mycelial farm that I want to get started on. If I'm not mistaken, that will give us uh, EMC. Do uh, looking through these drawers to find it. No, I do not see it. Uh, my cilia spores sieve. I uh, we get it from string iron gold and diamond at ten percent for diamond, so we 
picking these up real quick. Because, uh, yeah. Gonna, I'm gonna need some dirt. And... We're going to save, like, I want to keep at least... 12 of these for that. So this, along with the meshes here. And yeah, I need that, that uh, mycelial link. So just gonna take a little bit to process this. Let's see here, mycelial spores, we have enough. All right. I don't want, like I said, I just want one of these. Toss the potato in there, those apples can go away. <sighs> Some of the stone. All right. Like I said, I want a 12 area. Let's see. Get anything yet? No. And I think rain is going to annoy me. Uh, some of this, some of the stone that we put away, we'll need this, and some of this, okay, so, like I said, I want to, at least 12 was my goal, but now I think we can do 25 of this, which is good. Even better than what I wanted to do. 27. So 25, yes. Okay, so we're going to set this up like we did that farm right there. Give a little bit of a nice look to this base. Some uniformity, but some prettiness at the same time. So, all right, and three on this side, three. out of that particular type of stone and I don't have any more of it on me so take the time in to fill this in real quick we'll, we'll, we'll complete the rest of that in just one second All right so now that we have that we can place the mycelial spore seed right there in the center. Uh, let me show you how the diamond watering can works. Once you make it, you fill it full of water. Four quick clicks uh, on it will fill it full of water. And you never need to refill it. And you just do this and should spread. Should show the spread here. Might be because uh, we got a rainstorm going on. 
So while the rainstorm is going on, let me make those blocks that we need. Put away that. Where is my... Where is it? Where's the item that I need? Yeah, we're going to need mycelial um, ground here for, for a lot of reasons. Ah, oh, there it is. Right, stone cutter on a stick. Need five of these to beat this one. Oh, we got us a zombie over here. We didn't want zombies. You, you, you were not, you, you weren't supposed to show up, Mr. Zombie. Let's take the diamond sword. I will be right back once this mycelium spreads. And almost one full day, game day later. And here we go. We got the mycelium. And odd, it's not producing mushrooms like it normally does. I wonder if it requires me to be making witch water. Let's try that. Uh, I need a barrel. Only that one stuff it in it. So let's make some barrels. Good. Make a good number of these. Uh, the reason why we want a good number is, you know, barrels. Can't can't go wrong with having extra barrels. That's for a farm later in the series, guys. I'm just uh, doing a little bit of uh, prep work right now for it because we need mushrooms. And I was thinking the way we get mushrooms is via that. If it if this does not work, we're gonna have to try something else. Get mushrooms. Not the button I wanted to hit. Yeah, I'm I'm surprised these aren't making the Mushrooms like, ah, uh, there's one. Uh, can we use this to make the brown mushroom? I think there is a recipe for brown mushrooms. Uh, using force rods, which we haven't gotten into force yet. Okay. Uh, we're gonna cool, small, small segment touch on force. Uh, it is 
it is a very interesting mod. Uh, it is actually one of my more favorite mods out there. The best material to use to make it is gold. Uh, this used to be known as dark craft. And yeah, it was it was so much fun playing with uh, horse treats. What is the recipe for the horse sapling? Okay. So we're going to need to do this anyway. So to make a force rod, we're going to make a simple one using one force nugget, one force ingot. And we get this force rod here, which doesn't have much uh, use to it still. But if we take, say, a... There we go, oak sapling. And use this with a force rod, we get a force sapling, okay? We can take this now with one of these mushrooms and get one of the brown mushrooms. And well, you have pretty much a destroyed force rod. We'll get into more force craft later, but I just wanted to get that for the mycelial uh, the mycelial source link. So we'll take this mushroom, mushroom. We got our mushroom stew, two source berries, and two gold. So we'll toss this back in here. So, uh, force one. And we can get a mycelial source link. Now, this mycelial source link, we can take it and put a source berry. Uh, we might have to borrow this real quick. Or, no, no, we're going to need a arcane pedestal right beside the uh, mycelial source link and place that on there. And you'll see that that eats it, puts the source in there. So we have an idea for getting good amount of source just using source berries. That is going to require us uh, from, it's going to require us to do, uh, get a one of the minion. I'm just double checking, summoning help uh, dominion one which requires us to get an enchantment apparatus. Okay, so that is actually one of the quests. So let's make that enchantment apparatus. Get out a little bit more gold. All right, the enchantment Uh, at Aris, I think I removed it. Enchantment apparatus. You know, it's so easy to find this. There we go. The enchanting apparatus. There we go. Uh, all right, so we just need one diamond. We got diamonds. We got diamonds. We're not too worried about diamonds. 
All right, so we will take this now and oh, we also need the arcane core. I keep forgetting about the arcane core. Or I'll remember the arcane core, but not the enchanting apparatus. So place that down, place the uh, enchanting apparatus on top of it. And we're going to need four of these available to us. So now let's make a dominion one. Okay, so it requires two source berries and a gold stick. So source berry, source berry, uh, not gold stick, a gold ingot uh, right here, and a stick in there. And after a little bit, we'll watch it. It spins, and it gets nice and done up and gives us the Dominion one. Okay, so next we're going to need using one of these Starbuncle charms. Uh, Starbuncle charms require us to have four gold. Okay, that's it. You place the gold in here first. And the Starbucks totem. And after a little bit, boom, we've got us a Starbuckle charm. All right. Now, how much dirt do we have on us, too? Um, give me a few moments. I'm going to check how much time we have left and I want to set up the farm as well. So I'll be right back. Okay. After a little bit of processing dirt, having, um, skeletons and creepers spawn. That's how I got this music disc, by the way. Uh, I have enough material to actually build this island down here where we are going to be growing our source. So, like, these will grow really quickly and spread the source over to that. And we can take, pick these guys up. And if you notice here, they hurt us. Um... But they do not hurt our Starbuckle friend. Who will break these. And if I can... I, I, I need to... Okay, we tell him to store the items there, and he will harvest them, pick them up, and toss them into there, which will get us lots of EMC real quick. You, you see, like, he's harvesting and putting them all in here, and... Then we can take a hopper, like so, and like I, I want at least to have a stack of these to hold on to. Uh, we can have a hopper. Nope, nope, not like that. Um, Let me try to get this. 
with taking as little damage as possible. Of course, we fall off the edge for giving void and everything, but uh, not good with our health being as low as it was. And uh, you saw me fall to my death, people. All right, so we will take this back up. Okay, good, good. And we will have it pipe those right into there, which will fill up this source link. We can actually add a few more source links over here. And this is a completely passive way of doing this. So let's give this Starbuncle a little bit more uh, source berries to mess around with. And if you like this episode, guys, uh, we've got more to come next episode. I need to start making the rest of these essences. Uh, but the reason why I wanted to show you at least the first two of these guys is I need the saplings for RS Nouveau. Here we go. Flashing. No, 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 no. Uh, cas cascading, I think it is. We take that, we can get one of the green ones, which, if we set up a four by four of this, set this there, grow that, take our all powerful axe here. and chop down this tree. We'll get some more of this green one. And we need some of the purple ones. There we go, the vexing arc wood. So, there we go. We've got uh, all of the saplings now, thanks to the very first one. A lot of the saplings. So I want to spend time between this episode and next. Build a uh, small platform uh, off this direction. Uh, for RS Nouveau and so with that being said guys you see how we're getting this start here look at that look at that look at how beautifully full that source jar is uh, we'll show more use for the source uh, get a few more the I will get a about three more of those source jars down there. Uh, and make an island over there between episodes. And if you like this episode, hit that like button. If you dislike this episode, go right ahead, dislike it. Tell me why you disliked it down in the comments. It really helps me know what you guys are looking forward to seeing. Um... And uh, if you want to play on the server with us, uh, we are only offering it to our Twitch members over on Twitch for uh, Twitch subscribers. Um, and that is for mine and Crimson Fury's uh, Twitch channels. Those links will be found down below. No, I guess that's your cool. And 
join our Discord, and get to know us over there in our Discord. And until next time, later, Gators.